Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some fun geometric patterns using a Photoshop template. The template that I am using today is one that you can get access to for free. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to where you can enter your email address and have this template delivered to your email. This will also sign you up for my uh, email newsletter list, um, but, but feel free to unsubscribe anytime. After you have downloaded your files, go ahead and open the uh, file titled Geometric Pattern Template. We'll go ahead and click to open that file here. What you'll notice with this template is that you have six artboards here that have been arranged in um, different patterns. Here in the layers panel, you'll notice these first three layers that have been uh, color coded green. These are smart objects that you can change. This first one is for the object. And then we have our, in this case, black color and our white color, which you can change if you want. Currently, I have a predefined object of this triangle that creates these different patterns. So. Also in your download, there will be some Photoshop actions that you'll need to import into Photoshop. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. You'll want to make sure you open your actions panel. If you do not see it open, go ahead and go to window and select action. Uh, currently I have my actions panel set on button mode. So I'm going to hit this icon here and we are going to uh, take it off of button mode here. And then just clicking that icon again, we're gonna go ahead and click to load actions. Go ahead and navigate to your folder and you're looking for the file with the extension .atn, which stands for action file in Photoshop. And then just go ahead and click on open. Here we can see in my actions panel here at the bottom, I have my geometric pattern template maker. We'll go ahead and hit the drop down arrow for that. And there are two actions to find one pattern and define six patterns. So we have six artboards, so we'll click on our define six patterns. And then just go ahead and click on the play icon here. And what you'll notice is it will save our patterns automatically here in the patterns panel. If you do not see your patterns panel, again, you can go to windows and select patterns. So let's go ahead and test these patterns. I'm going to go ahead and open a new document. So we'll go file new. After this, I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then go ahead and click on create. From here, I'm going to uh, select that first pattern and drag it into my layers panel. And here we see uh, with the first uh, orientation, it just created uh, some diagonal stripes. But let's go ahead and see the other ones here as well. So we have this pattern layout. We have this pattern layout. This pattern layout. This pattern layout. And this pattern layout. So what you'll find that for um, your objects, not every uh, pattern layout will be um, a good one. Um, in this case, the way that they line up doesn't necessarily work with um, this kind of design. Uh, but all of the other options definitely um, create some fun geometric um, patterns here. So we'll jump back over in to our uh, template here. So let's go ahead and try a, another object. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this smart object and it will bring me into uh, this smart object where you can um, change up the object that you're using. So I'm just gonna zoom in, command or control with the plus key here. And so I have my shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that layer and let's go ahead and create a new layer. And then let's try a circle and see what that does. So I'm just gonna hit D for default so I can have my default color here, accessing the ellipse tool under the shapes tool. The size of this canvas is 300 pixels by 600 pixels. So I'm just gonna click here. And so I want something a little bit smaller than the 600 pixels. So let's try 500 by 500 to make my circle. 
And then instead of having a fill, I'm gonna change this to a stroke. So I'm gonna turn my fill to no fill. I'm gonna give my stroke a color black, and then I'm gonna change my stroke width to let's try 100 pixels here. And then under the uh, settings here for a line, I'm gonna go ahead and line it to the center um, just for a little bit of a different look there. And then just accessing the move tool, the V key on the keyboard. I'm just going to drag it um, to the side here and just until uh, Photoshop gives me those lines to say that I am aligned. And then let's go ahead and see how this looks in our template. I'm going to go ahead and save this. The keyboard shortcuts for that is Command or Control S. And then we'll just go ahead and leave this smart object open and just jump back over into our document here. Again, accessing our actions here. I'm going to, we are going to define our six patterns. So we'll just go ahead and play. And then we can see our patterns have been added to our patterns panel. So let's go ahead and test those ones here. We'll jump back into this document here. We've got our first pattern, second pattern. In this case, the third pattern is the same as the second because we are using a circle. And then here's another variation and then the other variation there as well. So uh, like I said, depending on um, your shape, some of these uh, layouts may um, create a unique pattern and some of them won't. Uh, but it's just a quick way to uh, test the different um, variations and see how they look with your pattern. So let's go ahead and jump back in and let's try a, another shape. So we'll go to our object here, turn off that layer, add a new layer. Let's go ahead and access that um, shape tool here again. And then I'm going to uh, create a, another circles and then just holding shift. I'm just going to click and drag out my a circle here. Accessing the move tool, go V on the keyboard. I'm just going to bring this to the side and align it and then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer so command or control J zooming out here I'm going to drag it and bring it to this corner here duplicating it again command or control J well and then we'll just drag it in to this corner here as well so we have um, three circles here and then let's just uh, save that and see how it looks go command or control S We'll jump back over into our template here and we can see um, various patterns here. Let's go ahead and test that with our action. So we have uh, defined six patterns. You can also use this in button mode. If you hit the icon here, it's clicking over to button mode, I'll just scroll down to the bottom and I can see defined six patterns here and it will automatically save those patterns. And then if we just test them out here, We'll click on this first one here and we can just see um, it creates kind of some fun different pattern options here. Just looking through it and then we have this one here as well. So uh, with this pattern, let's look at the first one again. I think this one is really cool, but I would like to see it with just one row. So. Uh, you may find that when you're using uh, this template that you uh, come across a pattern like this that inspires you that you like but that you would maybe change something about it so in this case i just want to see what it would look like if it just repeats one row so what i'm going to do for this is i'm going to open a new document we're going to go file new uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels um, because that is the size of each of those individual artboards. And then I'm just going to turn off artboard here and then we'll go ahead and click on create. And then I'm just going to drag that pattern here into the uh, layers panel here. And then I'm going to create a guide. So we'll go view, guide, new guide. And in this case, I just want one on the horizontal and we'll enter a 50% here. Um, so it's in the center. And then I'm gonna access my marquee tool. Keyboard shortcut for that is M on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to uh, drag from the corner and then drag it till it hits that guideline. 
so it can select those pixels. And when you have your uh, pixels selected like this, you can um, save your pattern. A couple different ways to do that. You can go, always go to Edit, Define Pattern. Um, if you have the Patterns panel open, you can always click on this plus icon and it will save your pattern. You can give it a name here. And then I've also created that Define One Pattern action, which you can click which will also save the pattern for you as well. So we've got our new pattern here. Let's go back into our test document. So this was the original, and then we have this one here, which I think creates a cool um, repeating pattern um, from that as well. So, so using the template, you might find a pattern that you like as is, or you could find a little way to uh, modify it to create something else uh, like this as well. So I really like this pattern. I think it looks fun. Uh, let's jump back into our object and then let's try one more. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just delete these uh, circles here, creating um, a new layer. This time I'm going to use the pen tool can right click here, access the pen tool. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is P on the keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, um, command plus key here. And then I'm going to create a new shape. So I'm just gonna start in this corner here, just dragging out the handles to start with. And then we'll hit the shift key and select that corner there. Hitting the shift key will select this top corner here. As I do that, I'm going to drag out my um, handle here. And then we'll just go ahead and finish off that um, triangle uh, type shape here. And then I'm going to access the uh, direct selection tool here. A uh, keyboard shortcut for that is A. And then we are going to uh, just click on the corner point here. Hitting my option key for Mac or alt key for PC, I'm just gonna click on this handle and I'm going to bring it in so I can get more of a curve. And then with this handle here as well, I can play with this curve as well. So we have a fun little shape here. I'm going to check on the size here at the top. I'm going to make sure it it's, um, fits with our canvas. So we're going to go 300 wide, 600 tall here. And then hitting the move tool V here on the keyboard, we'll just kind of make sure we're aligned. So we have this uh, fun new kind of curve shape that you can play around with when using the pen tool. So let's go ahead and save that. Command or Control S. And then let's jump back into our template to see how that looks. We'll go ahead and define this. We'll click our define six patterns here. And then we'll jump over into our test document and see how those look. Here is our first pattern. Zooming in on a little bit, you can see um, it's not quite smooth. Um, so potentially you can play with um, the curves of your line. So you may not necessarily use this one, but just to show you um, that there. And then let's go ahead and change it. And so it just creates a fun um, geometric um, inverse kind of pattern um, options here that you can uh, use to create your patterns. So if I find a pattern that I like, um, the next step I might take is I will hover over that pattern and then it will give you um, the dimension. So in this case, it's 600 by 1200. And so the patterns that it creates are a colored version that is black and white. So you can't easily um, change the color um, from the patterns. You can change the colors here within your document if you want to. By double clicking on the color layers here, you can select a new color, saving it, and then you'll see um, it change within your document here. But if you want to actually save a pattern swatch um, for Photoshop that you can change the color of, um, let's go ahead and pull up a new document. We'll go File, New. The dimensions of this pattern we are looking at is 600 pixels by 1200 pixels. And so we'll go ahead and create that document. And then you again, you can just drag it in 
to the Layers panel here. With this layer, I'm going to right click and just rasterize this layer. And then we're gonna access our Magic Wand tool. Here at the top here, go ahead and deselect contiguous, and then we'll just click on this black area and we see that it has highlighted the black um, areas of this pattern. And then I'm just gonna access the marquee tool clicking M on the keyboard. And then that just allows us to right click and then we are gonna do layer via cut. And that will uh, separate the white from the black. And then we can go ahead and just turn off the white layer and then we can save this um, black with the transparent background. So we'll just click on this define one pattern action to uh, save that there. And then we can go back over in to our document here. We'll click on our pattern. We see that it is has the transparent background. And then I'm going to use a solid color adjustment layer. We can bring that to the back for our background color. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. Let's pick a new color. Let's try a dark green and see how that looks. And then we'll just create a clipping mask. So you can right click, create clipping mask, and that will be able to change um, the color of your pattern. So here you can select um, a different color if you want white, if you like black, if you like that dark green, you can easily change the color of your pattern here. Um, within this document without having to go back to the template document you now have a saved version of your pattern with a transparent background uh, with any pattern you can always double click on the pattern fill layer and uh, change the scale if you want it to be uh, smaller here you can try um, different scales here as well Thank you for watching this video on how to use this uh, Photoshop template to create some fun geometric patterns. I hope you have fun uh, playing around with this template, trying out um, different shapes and seeing what kind of uh, patterns that you can create. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.